Hi everyone! Test equipment repair time again! This time I have Keysight 33250A function and arbitrary waveform generator. This thing has no output. Let's have a look. Here it is, powered up, and by default it is set to 1 kHz sine wave, 100 mV peak to peak. And this scope is auto ranging now, and look, I enable the output, and nothing happens. Perhaps a little bit more noise when I turn the output on, but nothing more than that. Let's go to Utility, Self-Test, here it is. And I tried that several times already, sometimes it passes, sometimes it fails. And I've seen two different error codes. Yeah, here it is, 6 to 9, sometimes it fails with 6 to 8. Here is the service guide, third edition, May 2012. So let's find our error codes. I believe they are under service, um, self-test procedures, complete self-test. Here they are. Six to eight, six to nine. So, these error codes are about relays in the attenuator path uh, and the amplifier path. Let's take a look at the block diagram. Here is the block diagram, and let's start from the output. Here is this uh, main output uh, connector. And here we have a protection, a distortion filter, output amplifier, which can be bypassed. I believe it is only used in some ranges when the output level is uh, higher than a few volts peak to peak. And here we have a couple of attenuators, 10 dB and 20 dB. They also can be bypassed. And I think the error has to do with this relay around the 20 dB attenuator and this relay around the output amplifier. So I would start checking the signal somewhere before that, and maybe all the way to the beginning of the analog signal, which is this output from the waveform DAC. So I took the cover off, and not much we can see from the top. We need to take this metal uh, cover off as well. And here is the bottom of the unit. It turns out it's quite easy to remove this uh, top metal plate and the power supply is mounted on it. And now we have full access. Very nice. Here is the main board. We can see these relays here. This is the output amplifier, and this is the waveform DAC. And unfortunately, I see that this uh, layout is slightly different from the picture in the service guide. In particular, the waveform DAC there is larger, and I don't see this part between the DAC and the output amplifier. Also, this chip is different, it is smaller here, and some parts here are in slightly different positions. I really hope it's not going to be a problem, because I couldn't find another revision of the service guide. I see that power rails are marked on the board, here next to the power supply connector, common, plus 5 volts, plus 16, minus 16, minus 5.2, plus 12. And also here, minus 2.1, and here, plus 3.3. So, we should check the power rails first. So, I checked the power rails and there is no problem with them at all. And I also checked the output from the DAC and there is absolutely nothing there. So, now I am not even sure that the relays have anything to do with the problem. 
Perhaps the self-test is confused because there is no signal at all. This service guide has full schematics, which is very cool. And here is the waveform DAC. It is Max 555C 12-bit DAC. And on the digital side it has ECL logic uh, compatible inputs, which is high-speed differential logic powered from a minus 5.2 volt supply. And in particular, this clock signal, as we can see, is differential. And I checked, there is no clock here at all. So we need to figure out why there is no clock. Here is the clock divider schematic. And this is the DAC clock. 200 MHz differential clock from this gate. And it comes from this gate. Again, a differential pair, absolutely symmetric with respect to the ground and the power supply. Two pull, should we say, pull down resistors to the negative supply, 300 ohms. Two inline resistors, 42.2 ohms and 100 ohms across the differential pair. So we should see exactly the same signal on both lines, just logically flipped with respect to each other. And I do see 200 MHz clock on pin 12 and almost nothing on pin 13. Let's take a look. I'm using one of special ground points on the board for my ground clip. It happens to be right next to the chip we are interested in. And this is pin 12. So, it is negative because it is ECL logic and uh, the swing is about 0.7 volts peak to peak and uh, this is uh, 200 megahertz clock looks fine and the uh, pin 13 is here and there is practically nothing but we should see exactly the same thing Here on the bottom side of the board I found the um, resistors, 300 ohm resistors from each differential line to the negative supply. And they should look identical, but look at this. This is one of them, almost exactly 300, and the other one, 482. Something is wrong here. I desoldered the resistor, which looked wrong in circuit, and look at this. 5 kilo ohms. So I fitted a new resistor here, and now the resistance across each dropped to about 185 ohms, and it is identical. And I checked a few more resistors around here, especially of the same type. And here is another similar pair, 300 ohm resistors, 288 across this one, and 421 across this one. So it seems like this one is bad as well. So I desoldered this one as well. And strangely, it looks almost fine. 313. A bit too high. This is 1% resistor. Shouldn't be that far off, but still doesn't look too bad. However, I fitted a new one instead of it. And now the resistance across both is about 185 as well. So now the output from pin 13 looks fine. The same as pin 12 we've seen before, here it is. But there is still no output from that gate. So here is pin 17 and 18. And this should be DAC clock and there is nothing there. 
Let's look at the schematic again. I replaced this resistor and now the clock on pin 13 looks fine. And I also replaced one of these resistors. I don't remember which one. So we have clock here on pins uh, 12 and 13. And I checked here on pins 27 and 26. Looks fine, just a bit lower amplitude because of these resistors. But there is nothing on pins 17 and 18. So I looked at this pin 28 which is used as DAC hold and it is sitting at about negative 0.3 and uh, this looks weird because it's not one of the ECL logic levels ECL levels should be around negative 0.9 let's say and negative uh, 1.6 or thereabouts but uh, this is neither low nor high, just something way off. And look at this. It comes from here. And this perhaps is a logic level translation to ECL. Here is a 900 ohm resistor. And here is another 300 ohm resistor to VTT, which is, uh, I believe, uh, termination rail, uh, negative 2.1. So I suspect another 300 ohm resistor. I found it right there under this metal work and I believe it is bad indeed. More than 5 kilo ohms across it. So, I started randomly checking 300 ohm resistors all over this board. There is a lot of them. And mostly in that configuration we have seen 900 ohms one way and 300 ohms to the termination rail. And in that case they should measure exactly 300 ohms. And uh, I found a few more which look bad. For instance, this uh, group of four over here. Look. Three of them look fine, almost exactly 300. The second one, fine. The third one, fine. But look, this one, 79 kilo ohms across it. And I found at least three more somewhere over here. So, in this part list, I looked up this part number and I found 48 resistors of this type on the board. And I made a list and checked all of them and found 10 of them bad. And it turned out I only had uh, 10 replacement resistors on hand. So, I replaced all bad ones for now. And I ordered some more, so I will replace all of them eventually. But for now, let's see what happened. Look at this. Now when I turn the output on, here we have it. 1 kilohertz and the amplitude is uh, 100 millivolts peak to peak. The scope measures about 200 because there is no 50 ohm termination. And I ran self-test many times. Now it passes every time, no problem. And now let's increase the amplitude. 200 shows about 400 here 300 4 5 and so on 1 volt peak to peak about 2 volts here and uh, let's go to the maximum which is 10 volts peak to peak shows about 20 here fine and now let's increase the frequency to the limit 80 megahertz and here we are 80 megahertz no problem so I should test this unit some more different functions and ranges but so far it looks okay I believe it's fixed thanks for watching bye